All right, first things first. Before we start, I'm gonna finish my ice cream Snickers. Way better than regular Snickers. <clears throat> Was a little raspy, sorry. To start off this look, I'm actually not going to use a concealer and I'm going to use an actual eyeshadow base and it's the NYX, I don't know, oh, NYX eyeshadow base. It's just white, so I'm going to use that all over my eye. Since I personally don't think that the drugstore makes good quality matte eyeshadows, I'm actually going to be using face products for my eyes. For my transition color, I'm going to use um, face products like bronzers and stuff like that. So for my first transition color, I'm going to take a uh, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm going to take that on R37 and start blushing that into my crease. I'm not doing anything precise, just, you know, messily throw it into your crease. After that, I'm going to take my um, L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade C8, which I use that as a contour powder. Now I'm going to deepen up my crease a little bit. Just a little bit. The focus isn't going to be in the crease. It's going to be our eyelid color. Now for the star of the show, <clears throat> so to speak, I'm going to use my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. These are so pretty. Like it, Honestly, all the colors are really good. And this one is in the shade 120. Where is it? Midnight Glitz, and I'm going to take the cream eyeshadow part first and put it on my eyelid and blend it out with the brush. After that's kind of blended out, you want to go back in with your contour powder and kind of go along the edge to buff it into the crease. You want to go back in with some more, just kind of build it, you know, add it on, buff it out, add it on, buff it out. Next, I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow, and this one is in the shade Midnight Blue. It's this really pretty, like, deep royal blue. Don't mind my nails, by the way. Now what I'm going to do is pack some infallible eyeshadow onto the brush and spray it with um, this NYX setting spray. It's the dewy finish one. Now dampen the brush to make the eyeshadow more metallic and more intense. Now I'm going to go back in with the eye art. The eye art thing and go in with the glitter which is really pretty. Just add it into the center of your eyelid and kind of and pat it out with your finger. I'm going to take some of that NYX base and pat it on the inner corner of my eye. And with that same pencil brush, I'm going to take a L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in, what is it, Pearl? Pop it right on the inner corner. I'm not going to do my brows on camera because it's kind of like boring. I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to use and I'm going to use my e.l.f. duo brush. It has a angled brush on one side, spoolie on the other side and my, um, what is it called? Salon Perfect Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I went ahead and did both my eyebrows and I did my other eye. I went for a more natural brow. Believe it or not, this is natural since that color is a little like one shade too light for me. I just made a more, more natural. To start off my face, I'm going to use two primers. I'm, the first one is the Maybelline Master Prime in the Blur Plus Redness Control. On top of that, I'm going to add the Maybelline Baby Skin just right here in my like porous problem areas. It kind of has like a green tint, but it's really sheer. Once you blend it out with your fingers, it's like you can't see it at all.
For my foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal, ooh, that's shiny. I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the shade N3.5. It has pretty good coverage. It's, um, at first it's kind of sheer, but the good thing about this is that you can build it up pretty easily. I was kind of iffy on buying this because I didn't know if it would work that well for me, but I really like it. And it does not get cakey. And do you see what I mean by it's sheer? Like right here, you can still see I have a pimple coming in right there and a few over here. So instead of adding another layer of foundation, which that might cause it to get cakey, I'm just gonna spot conceal. I know, I got a lot of spots. If you wanted a fuller coverage, you could use a kabuki brush or like a foundation blush. Another brush to blend it in. Next for my concealer, I know it seems like I'm being a little extra because I'm using so many products, but on the lower part of my under eye, I'm going to use my Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. This one is more my shade. And right underneath my eye, I'm going to use my Master Conceal in the shade Light. It is a little bit lighter. And so that's where I want most of the brightness to be is under my eye. I put too much on this side, crap. I'm gonna take some of the Master Conceal concealer and also put it in the center of my face, down the bridge of my nose. I'm using this uh, concealer to highlight and in the middle of my forehead. To set my under eye, I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Mega Glow in the shade Caramel Toffee and I'm gonna take that yellow shade, and really pack it onto my brush and set it right up under there. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my True Match powder in the shade W3. And I'm going to get my Morphe E1 brush and pat it all over my face. Whenever you're adding setting powder, you don't want to rub it because that might wipe off some of your foundation. So I'm just going to pat it in and using this powder adds a little bit of extra coverage as well. Which my skin's kind of freaking out right now, so I kind of need this extra coverage, you feel me? Next, I'm going to take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Ooh, surprise, surprise, on a Morphe M527. I'm going to start bronzing up my face. Like, I just feel like it makes such a difference, honestly. I'm going to take my Morphe M403 and my True Match powder in the shade C8. This is what I used in my crease, and this, I always use this as a contouring powder. It's really, really, really similar to Benefit's Hula Bronzer. Like, the color is almost spot on, so... I want to get this instead of the Hula Bronzer, because it's kind of pricey. Like, I don't even want to buy the full size, and I get a discount. Shoot, I'm rocking that travel size hula. I ain't trying to spend too much money. Now for blush, I'm gonna take my Milani Rose. Oh, I'm gonna take my Milani Rose blush in the shade Romantic Rose. I'm using like very little, and no matter what, I always go back in with my um, powder brush. Almost done, so I'm gonna spritz my face with my NYX. Dewy Finishing Spray. And finally, now that my lashes are on for my lips, I'm going to take my Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Adorable. It's kind of, it's like a cool tone, pinky nude. Here's the finished look. I, okay, I don't usually play with blues. I don't like how blues look on brown eyes because they don't really make them pop like purples and pinks do. But uh, this, this is, this look is beautiful. I freaking love it. Like, it's in the middle of the day and I'm wearing a dress over sweatpants. And I'm probably gonna stay like this for the rest of the day because it just, 
holy crap, I don't want to take it off. I worked really hard on it and I think it turned out really good. I hope you guys have a have a have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.